Hi, and welcome to another Travel Geek Update. Uh, I'm about to leave on an epic, epic six-week trip of filming through my third time in Laos, my third time in Cambodia, and my second time in Vietnam. It's going to be awesome. I'm actually also rendering a bunch of video. I've been very busy the last couple of days packing and sorting and organizing for this long trip. In fact, I'm, I'm rendering several videos just to make sure that I don't miss my, my Tuesday uploads. Right now, the Pranam Rung Temple from the, the Bui Ram area of Thailand is being edited. Uh, I'll, I'll hopefully um, have that one out. I don't know. I'll, I'll just figure the order of them. I've got some podcasts coming up. All kinds of cool stuff. But for right now, I'm going to talk about what gear I bring. I get lots and lots of questions from my wonderful YouTube fans on what I bring. Well, here it is. Um, I have lots of gear for my GoPro stuff. And uh, on that note, my, my, uh, my all-time favorite piece of gear is the helmet cam. This guy you can put on your head, or you can actually put it on a helmet as well. Got the suction cup. Stick it on the side of a bus and point it down at the wheels, and it does this amazing, cool, very cool, like, additive to, to a shot. I've got a chest cam, which mounts right here to the, to the center of the chest. And I've got a video back plate. I've got some underwater, you know, um, casing uh, and stuff like that. Um, got chargers for my, my D800, as well as my XF. 100. I'm not going to bring my smaller Canon body, but I am going to bring <clears throat> this one this time. This is the, the Canon XF100. It does a phenomenal job at being small and still packing that amazing punch that the, the, the its big brother, the 300, has. There's, there's, a, there's an XF100 and XF105, and then the 300 and the 305 versions are just massive. But you can get cinema quality out of these things. They're, they're unbelievable. I will hopefully be doing a couple of podcasts from the road. I'll record the audio right into here instead of bringing, uh, normally what I use for my podcasts is my Tascam DR100, and that is a bit large uh, for what I'm doing. To replace this, what I'm also going to be bringing is this little guy. And instead of this one, what I normally do if I'm recording at a distance I either use my Sennheiser wireless lav mics, uh, but they have, a, they have an interesting range capability of 100 meters or so, probably even more. I haven't tried it beyond that, but they do get interference from like uh, trucks driving through and stuff like that, and there's a lot of that kind of stuff um, where I'll be going. So I'm going to leave these here for this time, and I'm going to leave this here, and what I do instead is just sync up the audio, which I'll, I'll hook to a mic in this, I'll put it in here and I'll have the mic set up, I'll record the audio locally, and if I'm filming from far away, what I'll do is I'll sync up that audio, so, so the video shows me from the distance, but the audio is nice and clean, it gets my voice nice and close up. I, I, the first batch of filming I did in Laos, I used that, went off without a hitch, I'll be doing that again this time. A little while ago, I did a tutorial slash gear review on the Velbon carbon fiber Geo series tripod and the Manfrotto 701 fluid, the, the video head here. Those are going with me again, but I've done some interesting alterations to my backpack, which is the coolest part of this update. Okay, so this is my lovely trusted backpack. I went out and actually bought a new bag itself because the one I had was about 10 years old. And, uh, but I kept the frame and I kept <clears throat> the straps, but the bag is a little bit bigger. The, the rainproof quality is going to be uh, maintained a little bit better. But here's the cool part. I've sewn uh, a strap into the side here and what I'll be able to do with that is Take my tripod, slip it down into the side here, all right, to where it's, it would normally just kind of hang there and be secure, but what I've done additionally is have this sewn into here, and then it's a really easy shot to just pull that guy tight. So what I'll do is I'll just pull that guy taut, 
it's good, it, it secures it to the frame itself and then to the liner of the backpack, this webbing of the backpack here. And it's perfect. It doesn't wiggle, doesn't move around. When the backpack is full, it'll actually even stabilize it a little bit more. As you can see, it kind of pulls taut there. So that's one adaptation. The other very, very cool adaptation that I've done is I've mounted this little ball to the back of the backpack. Now, why would I mount a little ball to my backpack? Good question. This amazing doodad right here is the newest addition to my GoPro recording hardware. So what I do with this is I can mount this guy right to the pack. I very quickly tighten this guy down. Right? It's nice and secure, and what that does is that allows me to... I'm going to take, um, I've got a GoPro 3 white and I've got a GoPro 3 black. And what this does is it just mounts right here to the top of the pack and I can record myself. Well, this will say that this is the front, right, of the pack. Well, let's just do it this way. What I can do is this is the front of the pack, this is where my back is going to be, my face is going to be facing that way. I can just record myself walking or riding on a motorbike or I can put it off to the side and get like, get some kind of like a side shot of my face. Just adapt it like any, any imaginable way and it just sits there. It's totally awesome. So that's coming with me. That's one of my new little gadgets. My steady cam is coming with me. This guy gives almost a trained steady cam feel to the GoPro and I can literally just have that guy glide it just stays level no matter how or where I I do as long as I don't bump into it or something like that it's gonna stay pretty nice and steady so I can get the, that nice like hiking up that mountain feel or like hanging across this epic like mountain view or something like that right this one is not that convenient for those who are interested in finding out about these it, as far as quality goes, when you're using it, it's great. It really does a good job. Balances out nice and quickly. The, the nut stays in there. It's not one of those older style extended nuts. It will stay in there without bumping it out and losing it. But the thing that I don't like about it is that you can't take this off. And it, where does this thing fit? It doesn't fit anywhere. I luckily had a backpack that had a rounded top that I fit that in. But I'm basically going to be hoping that this thing fits at the top of my gear for the rest of it. Now, I think Steadicam makes one, but I know that other brands make one that do actually have bars that just kind of come down, connect to a piece, and then they come down and connect to a weight. You can take all that apart and put it somewhere. I would recommend getting that version of the Steadicam. So, and this one's called a Steadicam Smoothie. Fitting into the top of this pack is this new guy here. Now, Cool thing about this is it, it acts as sort of a camera bag you can just put on and wear. Um, and it will be carrying my still body. So I've got a D800 with a, a I believe it's a 24 to 70 lens on there. I'm going to have that one. That's just my frequent lens. Um, but I'll also be bringing a 14 to 24 millimeter wide angle lens, which is going to be my landscape lens. If I do any video of close-up street work and stuff like that, that's, that's going to be the lens I use because it's easier to focus. It has a nice wide angle. Uh, makes, make, makes it look more steady, things like that. I'm going to be bringing my um, 70 to 200 lens. Perfect little, little case for that. The 14 to 24 is going to be in here. I've also got like a wide angle. Um, I believe it's a 16 mil fisheye in there, and I've got an extension piece, like a 2x coupler, which will, will turn my 200 into a 400 millimeter, effectively, a 400 millimeter lens. It does great for the, for the nice tight shots. This fits right into the top of the pack, and this is the deal changer. Uh, normally, I would have to have one backpack on my back for clothes and, and incidentals, 
And then I'd have to have my camera bag on, on my front, which would give me access to all my little stuff right here in the front. However, with this guy, I can either pack it in the bag and keep it with me, have easy access to the camera whenever I need it, or it fits right down into the top of the bag on top of my clothes. I'll talk about my clothes in a second, but if it's that easy to access, I just pop it around, undo the top, pull my body out, snap away, put it back, and we're done. Obviously, also, you can carry it with you. I'm going to be doing some caving also, and so in this metal box is a 76 LED adjustable light, and it's nice and powerful, should light up the entire cave. As far as batteries, I always bring at least five, you know, like the aftermarket version of the, the batteries for all my, my camera bodies. So I've got um, four extras for the GoPro, four extras for the XF100. I like to put tape on them. In fact, this time I, I went ahead and bought a battery belt. So this guy is going to sit right at arm's reach, I'll be able to grab my batteries right out of the, right out of my little my video Batman belt. And you, you can see they have uh, three out of six. Actually, it, it should be five because I, I broke one, one dropped and I, I broke it. So sadly that one's not with us. I should change that, but I normally have the, the five. So uh, what, what I do is I use them in order. So I use one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, four out of five. Um, what that does is it uses the batteries um, and then charges the batteries in the same order so that they all have the same life used out of them. The second and probably the most important benefit is that you can put your batteries in order. So that was three, four, five, and six out of the six that I have, or the five that I have, but numbered at six. So I, I remember which one is charged and which one is used so that it's very easy to grab the next battery in line. So as far as clothes go, I have this uh, waterproof sea bag here. Inside this sea bag, I also put my laptop. So the laptop is always lined or protected with a layer of cushion. And that cushion comes in the form of my clothes. Other random gear, Includes, I've got a lens pen, which is awesome at cleaning your lenses. I've got, uh, you know, a, a wind guard for uh, mounting to the front of the camera during outside shot, you know, shooting in windy conditions. Uh, I've got extra lens cleaning cloths. Very, very important. The smallest card that I have, I've got some SD cards for the backup. Uh, on the D D800 and the uh, the main video cards, all of them are 600 speed, minimum of 16 gig cards. Uh, I like to stay at 16. I can I have the money and resources to to take to purchase and take along with me the 32 gig. But I, if I lost one of those cards, think about having lost 16 gigabytes worth of footage versus 32. So. You don't want to go eight gigs because it's just you don't have enough time to record what you need. 16 gigs will give you an hour shooting at 1080, uh, decent quality, 35 megabits per second to 50 at, um, at, at 1080, you know, 30 frames per second there. So yeah. And last but not least, one of the things that I love to suggest for people traveling solo is a hammock. They're a little bit cumbersome in that they, they take up like a large pocket or a bag or something like that. But when you're sitting around and you're waiting, you know, in line or you're sitting outside and it's hot and there's no place to sit, you strap this thing up to a couple of trees or something, people are going to be jealous of it. You can take a nap pretty much anywhere in the middle of the day if you're hot and your bus hasn't arrived or I don't know, there's just, just like a million uses for these things. All right, that's it. Over the next six weeks, I hope to maintain my, my, my Tuesday uploads. Uh, please forgive me if I, if I can't do that. I'll be in some pretty out, out back rugged territory. So that's it. Wish me luck uh, and I'll see you on the road.